You need to know about uses and dangers of static electricity. So here's one, and then you can apply to the rest. Small precipitators, so imagine this is the big cooling towers that you see next to power stations. Power stations produce a lot of smoke, which has dust particles. So when the dust particles of smoke rise up, which is basically just water vapor but with dust, if you've got the charged plates on the side, they will attract the positive charges because we're going to charge up the dust particles with the opposite charge. So as the dust rises up, the positive dust suit will be attracted to the side, be drawn towards it, and the water vapor will go straight through the cooling tower, means that what's coming out the chimney is just pure water vapor, which is not damaging the environment, and then you can clean the soot off the side of the charge plates. So we're using static electricity in action here. Basically, the opposites attract and it can put to use. Other uses are photocopiers, where the paper is charged up with the right charge and the ink the opposite charge, so it sticks to the right part of the paper. And same with paint spraying, for example, spraying car bodies. Car bodies are usually made of metal, so if you charge that up with one charge and then the paint particles with an opposite charge, then it will spray onto the car body. Electricity is also dangerous in a few situations. Fuel pipes, static electricity can cause sparks, and if the spark is caused where there's a potential danger because there's fuel or gas, then you could get an explosion. So it's important that when you refuel in your car or refuel in your aeroplanes, that there is no chance of any static electricity buildup producing a spark which could cause an explosion. And in hospitals also, you don't want static electricity to interfere with the equipment.